Welcome back to Card City Knights 2. Bit of an unlucky finish at the end of the last episode, fighting Serious Scientist and... One card being the difference. Either if she did not get Star Splitter, I would have won, or if we both got Star Splitter, I would have won. So it was only because I didn't draw a Star Splitter in like the last seven cards that I lost. So hopefully we can remedy that and actually get one tick ahead of her in the whole Bricopolip situation, which is basically how this deck works. Um, I think I'll just Asha right away and yeah, I can chain to that, that's fine. Now the question is, do I want to like, parrot into Alpha Strike? I mean, maybe. I'll leave the option open. Like, so far I don't really want to, but maybe I will, in a bit. Well, guess I have to give up on it anyway. I also would be good to get out. Yeah, this is an okay start so far. Oh, good. That's that's good. I don't mind that. Better to use it there than on Brickoplips later on. I think I'll just Asha again and see what I... Welp. See what I have to work with. Nothing. I have nothing to work with. Oh, man. I could go for a, an Alpha Strike combo right about now. If she plays anything, like, useful, because I don't have anything, really. But so far, removing one, one, one wouldn't really be useful, I think. So I'm just gonna do that. Ooh, Iosa is very good. There's my Star Splitter, which I'm not gonna waste on Adjua. Definitely not. Far too many non-conductives, though. Holy crap. There's one! Okay. Is it even gonna matter, though? Are we gonna last that long? Kind of not. But I guess I still have to go for it. Yeah. And I can't get blocked here, either. Oh. So now... I'm gonna do that, and then delay her Bricopolips. Doesn't really matter this round as much as last time. And we do have two! So it was two in seven cards! Oh my god. That is... Very unlucky. I mean, still... The... The probability is fairly low, but when you take into account every single turn before then, not drawing it, it ends up being quite probable that I would draw one of the two within that time. And well, it didn't matter. I mean, sure, let's fucking keep doing it. Ooh, and I can just Bricopolis right back. That's very good. If it will actually matter, it might not, but let's go for it. Like so. Which means I'm not gonna want to Alpha Strike. Maybe she will. Ooh, maybe I have to block here so that she doesn't Alpha Strike. Will the AI actually use Alpha Strike? Because if it does, then yeah, that would be... This would be the time to do it. I'm just gonna place my Alpha Strike here because I don't want to use it, but I need to block this spot. Um... Think I'll just do... that. Keep delaying. I could get some heal as well, would be pretty good.
Well, blocked. Oh well. This won't even matter. I'm gonna do like four overkill damage, but sure. I was gonna chain here, but I don't think I should. I should just focus on blocking. Just make sure she doesn't do any com- Oh, well. Oh, she's gonna die before my combo even finishes. Recoplips ended up not mattering. Yep. How fun. Fucking Recoplips. And there we go. Well. Better game than last time, at least. 15 credits. Thank you. Yeah? None of them have been tampered with. Unfortunately, I wanted them to be. I do. I know the name. Elite Hacker? I knew it! I may not have the evidence needed yet, but the time to confront that disruptor of fair competition is now! Please continue to the isolated laboratory. Don't mind me. Yeah, okay, so it's it's just a tiny little thing. If we just go back to Elite Hacker, I don't think anything is gonna change. Oh! No, it is changing! Give it up, Elite Hacker! I know it's you! I told you, I have no idea what you're talking about. Tweet! Anyone could have modified those cards. You're the only one on the ship bold enough to leave those comments in your code. Don't think I didn't find them. Then why did you need me to even say it in the first place? Someone must have tweet copied my style. I'm only interested in white hat stuff. Will you stop blowing that annoying whistle? What are you even doing back there? Just tweet doing my taxes. Space taxes. Huh. The next time I come here, I'll be bringing proof. What tweet ever. Great. Hello. Are you mad at me? You're not mad at me. Yeah. She says. I know to stay secure. There's no proof. Yep, exactly. Well, neat little cutscene that I didn't see before. Hi. You're not like a sore loser or anything. So, let's move in here. Hello, Dr. Strangle. And... We can fight only Dr. Strangle and then the potato. And nobody beats Dr. Strangle. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. I wonder if he has the Strangle Swan card. In his, in his deck. Seems to be a sort of heal based deck. I can do key X Tosca, but I don't really want to at this point. I'm just gonna place friend for now. Oh. When you play a card, cage it and gain shield. I mean, do I, do I really care? Not really. I have nothing I want to activate, though. I guess I'll just Tosca or... Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of bad. I, I have to just key, pretty much. It's not really much else I can... Oh! Okay! Oh! Oh, that's so clever! That is such a neat combo! Tosca X and then you have non-caging, non-chaining cards! Cards that don't have any arrows in the first place. Then there's no no harm in caging them. That's very interesting. Huh. So I'm not going to play Fire Mace yet. That would be a total waste. I mean, there's not really anything for me to do. I just kind of have to... Tosk, I think. Because I don't want to waste the heal from Jenny Flower, and I don't want to waste the damage from Fire Mace, and I don't want to key X, because I have nothing I want to actually start chaining to, or start activating. Now I do. Hmm. Guess I'll do that. Oh boy. Hmm. Can't do the Tusk X thing because I don't have any Wash Olaf or Jealous Chest or anything. 
man. He's just getting all the good cards that I need. I need Jealous Chest, I need Watch Olaf, I can activate so many cards, but I have like nothing to use it on. There's one Wash Olaf, so that's pretty good. And she's gonna activate Jealous Chest, of course. Guess I'll start gaining some shield then. Or do I wanna... No, I can't even complete the combo. Potato? Okay. Guess I had to break that shield somehow. Damn, he would have broken his own shield had I not done that. God damn it. What the hell? Oh my god. You really fucking want to block, don't you? And I just can't fire mace anywhere. Oh, right. Damn, forgot about that. Oh, well. That's actually kind of... Odd choice. I don't think I would have done that, but... Fair enough. Oh no, I thought I had one more turn of that. I mean, I guess that's fine. I can... Yeah, I'll do Key X now. Ooh, that's very good. Very, very good. That's an odd choice, Key Xing a normal key so you can activate two cards in one turn. But yeah, now I'll do Jealous Chest. Do I want to hold off on Wash Olaf? Not really. Oh boy. I'm kind of losing this. Yeah, I, I have to do that. Okay, finally I can chain this combo up. That's good. Oh boy. I am about to take a lot of damage. Okay, Cyber Jenny, not bad. Fuck, that's bad. Yeah, I, I pretty much lost. I don't really know. Uh, I guess I have to do Tosca. Is it gonna matter? Yeah, it's gonna matter. Yeah, I have to do Tosca. And then we do... Jenny Flower, I suppose. Oh, Helios. Huh. Oh boy. That's pretty bad. Can I survive enough? Or long enough? I don't think I can. Man, he just got all the good cards and I didn't. At least not in the order I needed them. Okay, let me think. So, I have Tosca healing me for three. I have four left. He has not activated Jealous Chest, which means he will activate Helios next turn. Which means when I play key. Oh, I don't even have to play key. Oh, I kind of wanted to play key though, so I could like activate Wash Olaf and. I think that's the way to do it, yeah. That, and then next turn I activate. Wash Olaf and Mass Ruby, so I activate both chains here. So activate... I could do that too, but no. I think this and that is much better. Get the heal. Unfortunately... Oh no! Jenny Flower did not resolve. Yeah, so then I can do Helios myself. I'm pretty sure that's... I have to do that. That's like my only hope. 
Plus I do two damage per Helios thing, and he does one. Oh god! Is it enough? It's not enough, right? It's not enough. And I can't get a shield. Wait, I can make it a draw, but yeah, draw won't matter. Damn it. I mean, draw! That's the first draw we've ever had in the game. Like, true draw. All rounds. Interesting, I've never seen that animation before. Well, I mean, that's pretty much how it goes in mirror mode, I suppose. It's... it's just... luck, mostly. Unless you make idiotic mistakes, which sure I'm doing, but I don't think I made any huge mistakes in that game. So yeah, it really is just luck based on what cards you get. Okay. Now the question is, do I want to activate Tosca right away? Hmm. I know we have Rafts, so I think I want to block here, not here. But it's probably... probably doesn't matter. But I'm gonna do that, just so I hopefully get Jealous Chest out as soon as possible. Oh god. Well, now I can block there. Ooh, Wash Olaf is very good. Do I want to do that, though? Do I want to Wash Olaf or Helios? I think I want to wait with Helios until Jealous Chest is done, because otherwise it would waste two damage. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. Okay. Should I do that? Why not? And I want to wait one turn. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, I can just chain up. Oh god, uh, I have to chain up key here. Also, that was a weird placement of Helios. Yeah, let's do that. It's very pointless. Which means I have to... Oh, right, it means I have to activate one of his cards. Well... Guess I didn't really think this through, but I kind of had to do it so I would get the uh, Jealous Chest and Jenny Flower. Well, I I guess I didn't have to. That was probably a mistake. I'll just do this one, because he's going to be able to chain to it anyway. Now, though. Wish I had Tosca out when that happened. Should've probably done that. Do I want to fire Mace right away? Like that? I guess so. Really wish I could chain up Helios, but I, I can't. Not really much I can do about it. Okay, that's good. I have to just power through, despite the shields. Not really much else to do. And I will friend here. Double Wash Olaf is pretty good. I think I won. I'm just gonna do that just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I won anyway. Ah, good thing I did. Turned out to be necessary. Yeah, there we go. Much luckier that time. What a remarkable strategy. I was using your strategy. Crazy. Uh, did I say yes here? I guess I did, so let's say no. Oh, don't worry. It's perfectly harmless. Go on. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure that was new. Hello. 
And we'll do this guy as well. Best of three. This is one of the gatekeepers. So what does he do? Spy cards? Oh my god. Was this the horse gun guy? Who was it? No, wait, that was uh, that was Passel that used, like, he cheated and had more horse gun than you should be able to do. Unless that wasn't a cheat, because it's like, they looked a bit different. No, right. No. Uh, hmm. Because there is the, the resolve thing where you get horse gun, you would get a card that looks like this, which I'm pretty sure is what I remember. But I also remember him having, like, four horse guns at the same time, and he did three damage when placing one horse gun. So I, I don't know, was it cheating? I can't remember. Um... This is kind of funny, I could actually make an entire enemy combo if I wanted to. And sure, why not? I don't have anything better to do. Oh. Do I just want to sacrifice Lean Boo? I kind of do. Goodbye, Lean Boo. Trade one Lean Boo for a Lean Boo. Oh, get another Lean Boo. That's how that works. Yeah, I guess this is sort of a spy deck. And yeah, this is when you play a a horse card, so I can't use Hiss or anything. Not sure why I blocked that. Wish I could flip this, but I don't think I can. Oh god, anti Murray right away. Crazy. Hmm. Got two horse guns, at least. And that's fine, I suppose. Ooh, Mr. X? Interesting. Okay. That- oh my god! That's not really fine, I wanted to use Cyber Jenny for Mr. X. Oh no, I couldn't, because then I would have to silence my own card, so yeah, that was actually better. That, and then we'll Mr. X next turn. Oh, nope, we will not. I could- this would be a good time to use that guy if I was down in health, because then I could just place it, get to health, and then it would be caged and silenced. So, that's like the ideal time to play that guy or Metonym if you don't have a uh, swapping thing, which is the idealist way of playing them. Guess I'll just horse gun. Kind of a shame to lose out on the horse gun, but not really much I could do about it. And now we will Mr. X. I couldn't silence Rotnip, could I? Like, that that's still not my card, I'm pretty sure. Oh, if I had horse gun, if I had, like, silenced something else... Then I could have horse gun, horse gun, and then metonym to win this turn, but oh well. There's no red arrows on the entire board. I mean, if he does one more damage to me, I can just heal right away, which would be quite nice. Yeah, I guess when in doubt, Horse gun. Oh, two of them. Oh man. I'm gonna heal. Oh my god! Oh, when active. I thought that was like an amazing play that just happened. Nope. And then placement metonym. There we go. Interesting deck. I like playing that. And that was only one round. I forgot. Thought I was, like, done already. Cyber Jenny. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is very good. Oh no, I can't chain it up. Damn. Ah, that's unfortunate. Well... I'll do that. Get my shield. And then, assuming he doesn't do one damage, which he didn't... Um... Is it worth it doing this? Can I make sure to pop the shield before Mr. X and Auntie Murray? Because they don't really want to do... I think I should probably just hold off. Play it here. Double Mr. X. Oh man, it's too tempting. But I really need one... Oh right, I have Cyber Jenny! Yeah, 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 absolutely. anti Murray, and then... Assuming I don't get blocked here, which I didn't. Oh, smart. Now I can Mr. X, and then... Oh. So about that. About that whole making mistakes thing. Should have played Metonym first, and then silenced Metonym. Fuck me. Damn, that's a shame. I guess I'll silence Anti Murray. Not really much. Can I? Oh, I can silence itself. Yeah, sorry, Mr. X. That was my bad. That was a very bad play. I'll just do Cyber Jenny now. There's Mr. X. We're playing like the same cards, but. I think I'm still fine, I believe. Maybe. Oh, perfect. Very good. Oh my god, this is perfect. So I could wait one more turn. Oh no, it's not perfect because I can't I can't chain it. I have to do that. Yeah, there we go. It's it's perfect. I will have just enough time. And yeah, that's that's fine. I'm not going to do 3 damage to you, but you will do 3 damage to me. So hooray. What? Huh? Oh, it's when it wait. Hang on. What the hell just happened? Why did this not work? He just killed himself, but I'm really curious. Why did that not work? Is it like because you have to do self damage? That's not true because then it would say whenever you deal three damage to yourself because that's what it says on Business Casual Man. Whenever you deal damage to yourself, deal one. Wait, is it? What does Mr. Uh, business Casual Man say? Isn't that the whole point of Simulacrum? Oh, and that's he didn't kill himself. Well, I, gu I guess I can do the same thing. Oh. I guess I just won. Yep. That was strange, though. Is that not how Simulacrum X works? I thought it was, like, a counter card to really high damage, like Anti Murray and Mr. X and stuff, but it's only when you take three damage from self-damage. So, Metonym and that guy and those kinds of cards. Is that the only usage for Simulacrum X? That was, that was confusing, and doesn't really, like, get trans translated very well in the text, or whatever conveyed in the text. Because, yeah, that could be read either way, and it should probably be clarified. Maybe it was clarified if you go into the card and, like, check it. Well, I guess we'll leave it off there for today. I, I have to kind of, like, go back and look. I might go into my, uh other save file and just check like check business casual man check simulacrum x just to see on the right side when you inspect the card if it actually says that you have to do the damage yourself or something because yeah i thought that was just the whole point that the enemy does three damage to you the enemy dealing three damage equals you taking three damage right i don't know guess not or maybe that was unintentional but I still won in the end, despite some mishaps. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode, and next time, 
where are we going? Medical Bay, I think? Maybe? I think it's something like that. Medical Wing and then the uh, observation thing or whatever. Is it? No, wait. Is it the tournament first? No. I, I don't know. We'll see. See you next time. Bye-bye.